Hokey dokey. In this problem, they tell us that a town of 28,000 people is experiencing an outbreak. Once individuals have recovered, they are resistant to the virus. In some examples, it'll say they are resistant to the virus. In others, it might say they may be infected multiple times. If they are infected multiple times, what that means is the number of people are who are resistant would be zero. So one of these situations, if they can be infected multiple times. However, in this case, it says once they have recovered, they are resistant to the virus, which means our answer will not be one of these with r equals zero. In this case, let's keep going. At time 10, 10,080 people are ill and 5880 other people have been ill and recovered. S is the number of individuals who are susceptible. R is the number of individuals who are resistant. So the number of people who are resistant must be the people who have already been ill and who have recovered because it says once they recover, they are resistant. So it tells us the number of people who have been ill and recovered is equal to 5,880. So we can eliminate option A. And now between D and E, let's see if we can calculate the number of susceptibles. So the number of susceptibles should be the total population, the initial uh, 28,000, minus the number who have recovered, since they are no longer susceptible, as well as the people who are currently ill, because they already have it, so they're not susceptible necessarily. So we will subtract 5,880, and then we'll subtract the 10,000 value as well. So 10,080, and so we'll open up Desmos and perform this calculation. Let's do 28,000 minus 5880 minus 10,080. So as a result, we get 12,040. 12,040, it looks like. D has that option. We eliminate E and F. Break out the eraser to see that D is, in fact, our answer. All right, I'll work out a few more examples of this type of problem. Feel free to check those out.